This is our Triple E one seventy four CP one eighty five final project. It is a robotic arm. My name is Thomas Bach. My name is Nigel Stockton. Daniel Kulak. So the microcontroller at the robot arm is powered by in our new Mega. Uh, it provided the uh, enough pins to use and the interface with our RAM support. The ranch board is the shield that goes on top of the uh, Arduino Mega, and it provides power to the stepper motors, the servos, and the limit switches. The stepper motors are what's used for primary control of the arm, um, and they're very accurate, up to 1.8 degrees of rotation. Uh, they're normally used in CNC machines and 3D printers. In the motor stage of the project, we used two servo motors to control the claw, one to open and close the claw, and the other one to turn the claw 90 degrees. We used a two-state button input to control each claw. Some things about servo motors is that they are uh, relatively accurate, they're accurate to the degree. Uh, of rotation and they have a relatively strong torque for their size. So the joysticks we use were Arduino compatible joysticks um, and they took analog or they are our analog input for the Arduino which we use for the X and Y on the uh, robotic arm and um, the Arduino registers both the max and the min, the min as zero and the maximum as 1024 and so we were able to use that for the robotic arm. Um, and we also use this for the uh, input for the servo motors. So we decided to use limit switches for protection purposes. Their function is to limit the range of motion of the stepper motor. Um, unlike servo motors, stepper motors are not limited to a certain range of motion, and they can do a full rotation, which can damage the wiring. Um, therefore, we installed two limit switches 180 degrees apart, thus limiting the range of motion to 180 degrees, the horizontal motion. Um, limit switches have three contacts, one normally open and one closed. Uh, when one just hit, uh, common and normally closed are connected, and normally open is disconnected, and vice versa. So we also used pull down resistors. Uh, they were used to define the state of the switch when the plunge was hit. Uh, since our green pins are high impedance when they use the input, uh, we weren't getting a constant signal. We were getting an on and off signal. There, that's why we had to use a 20k uh, pull down resistor from uh, normally closed to 5 volts on the green amp. So here we have the code for our robotic arm. It's relatively short when you look at it, and it um, uses the servo library and the stepper motor library, which uh, incorporates the acceleration of the stepper motors and also the steps and what was used to control the servo motors. Um, all we had to do was take the analog reads from the inputs and use them within an statement and have. Uh, the step motors rotate whenever there's an analog input for the movement of the sticks, or if it was the switch that we used on the input, we had to use a two-case uh, two uh, two format, where one case was a, um, the opening of the claw, and the other case was the closing of the claw. So some of the problems we overcame, uh, in the project, uh, first was getting the arm to move at all with the stepper motors. Uh, it was somewhat difficult to properly hook up to the ramp board, and then we had to make sure that it was light enough to move the arm. And then uh, integrating the servo code, the step code, uh, was also somewhat of a challenge because uh, uh, the servo code had delays in it, and uh, that would mess up the stepper code. Uh, so we had to make sure that that inside the case statements and a little bit of time and uh, have to wait and have to 
Uh, also, uh, kind of tricky to set up the buttons to where they were to the state, so we ended up using the state to case things inside the hit statement. Uh, we didn't really have hard. Uh, along with the two state buttons, uh, we had to integrate an up resistor, a uh, pull up resistor, because there was a uh, floating voltage and it would cause the material to lose uh, malfunction in a sense and move when we didn't want it to. And I also have a problem with not getting all the signals. 